So good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for giving us the opportunity to be here. I have to be very creative now in order to make the audience be very focused on what I'm going to say in this time. But uh, I will start with a very short uh, self-presentation. For the last uh, 28 years, uh, I was serving uh, in the Israeli Security Agency as the Director for Operation Counter-Terror, Counter-Intelligence. And literally, I was living among terrorists for many, many years. Not in the movies, in real life. And in real life, it's totally different, by the way, to live among them. And uh, that period of time gave me a lot of insights about how terrorists act, what do they do, what they can't do, and uh, how we can defeat them, by the way. And when we opened the Spire, the DNA of Spire is we do not think security. We do not think traditional security. We think as the opponent. We think as a terrorist. And when we come to, to analyze and to start a new project, the first thing that we do, for example, if I had the opportunity to come to, to Nice, I would start making a text. Of course, theoretically. But only if you know how to attack, you know what is the best way to defend. Otherwise, it's worthless. The reason why we were chosen to do, I think, one of the biggest online security projects in the world, and today we can speak about it. A year ago, I couldn't speak about it. Because we have done the oldest security program from the UAE, United Arab Emirates, which is a country, obviously, you know, that doesn't have any diplomatic relationship with Israel. And sometimes, in the future, I hope some producer in Hollywood will make a movie on what we've done there. Uh, because it was really a movie. But among this huge project, we have done, I think, one of the sophisticated safe city projects in the world. And the reason, and I have to admit, the reason is because we worked in a place of illusion, in a place where there was no limits of budget. And they allow us to test all the new technologies, future technologies. It was like a playground and a lab for us. And we do know today what is working. And guys, there is a lot of that is working only in presentations. It's very nice, but it's not ready yet. It's not mature yet. Uh, the reason why this customer chose us to do the project is because we brought a different approach. And I give you an example. One of, the, one of the projects was to make the security program for all the oil and gas industry, which is a huge industry in the UAE. And all the traditional companies came with the, support, the, the approach of very strong perimeter, fences, cameras, etc., etc. And we said, the main threat is not from the outside. The main threat is from the inside, from the 30,000 workers coming every day to the facility. And if one of them will open valve A and close valve B, there is an explosion. So how are you going to monitor them? And we developed the approach of what we call the enemy from within. And I think what Europe is facing today, the main challenge is the enemy from within. Because all the European passport holders that will come back after they fought in Syria, Iraq, etc., they upgraded themselves in the capabilities. They, are, they can operate as anyone that's living within Europe freely, totally freely. They know the culture, both cultures, of the opponent and their own country. So look how advantage they have. The Safe City project that we have done there was mainly based on four layers. The first one, of course, is to analyze the city. To deploy 1,300 cameras or 2,000 cameras, believe me, this is not the issue. Maybe you need only 500. The issue is to analyze what is the hotspots of the city. What is the places that they are sensitive in the city in terms of they can create an, an alert or they can create the threats, or they are sensitive to the city itself. And for these places, we need to give the right, uh, the right answer. The second thing is the wisdom. We took everything that it is in our mind that we know, as I told you, aspire DNA, and we put it inside the technology. That means that our technology think as a terrorist. It doesn't think as a security. And it's a huge difference uh, in the industry. Uh, the rules that we put in the rule-based engine within our uh, uh, C4I platform, 
is rules that based on what a terrorist do during the planning of attack. And when a terrorist is conducting an attack, he's doing several actions that leaving traces. Now, all of us, I assume, we think as the traditional verticals where the police is responsible for policing, border control for border control, and we have airport authority for the airport. But the terrorist doesn't think like that. He's crossing the verticals because he will come to this region and he will start gathering information in the airport and then he will go to the city and then he will go to the critical asset or the seaport, etc. He will find the weakest point. But during this route, he will leave the traces. We would like to find these traces. Secondly, intelligence. Intelligence is crucial. Without intelligence, you cannot do nothing. Now, I heard from yesterday from small talks and side talks, we are the municipality, how we can create intelligence. It's the responsibility of the national agencies, right. But the municipality and the local police can create intelligence as well. For example, we have a platform that's monitoring the social media, totally legal, working already within Europe, and we get a lot of intelligence from the social media. And we penetrate a little bit more than what uh, Oli described uh, before, of course. Of course, but again, we find terrorists. We have done a POC three months ago to a European country where we have, done a, we have found a recruiter of ISIS only through the social media. They didn't know about it. So this creates intelligence. All the citizen applications, all the citizen reports, it's intelligence. Things that are happening in the city, it's intelligence. In the, it's intelligence in the level of the municipality. We were chosen among eight other companies in Israel. It's, it is the only place that we work in Israel, by the way, to lead a new approach for the city of Jerusalem of how to manage a city, not only in terms of security. Because we think that the safe city is the first layer to become a smart city. You cannot become a smart city, by the way, if you don't have the safe city layer. And in Jerusalem, we created an approach where all the agencies that are managing the city, sitting together, looking at one unified operational situational picture, we call it, see all the assets and resources, one of each other, and they can use them. So you can find there the garbage disposal, the water company, uh, the police and the municipality sitting together in one place and managing the city. The intelligence layer that create is what you heard before. The social media feed, whether it's uh, uh, for, the, for the Islamic population or other population within Jerusalem, that they can create uh, the feed uh, for them. The name of the game in order to defeat terrorism is multi-agency collaboration. If you will not have the multi-agency collaboration, the other side will win. And I will give you a very short scenario that I gave in Brussels a few months ago. Let's say that you have the golden intelligence information that says three suicide bombers, I'll take you to the, to the Brussels airport attack. Three suicide bombers with suitcase, with suitcase uh, uh, bombing devices getting on a taxi, license plate number, that and that, in Brussels, Gare du Midi, and they are now on the way to, uh, to the airport. This is a golden information. Now, it takes 32 minutes, 35 minutes to go from Gaudi Midi to Zaventem Airport. Are you really capable to stop this car in 35 minutes? Are you really capable to coordinate between all the agencies? Do you have the methodology how to stop suicide bomber? And this is questions that you need to ask yourself, and this come before technology. Technology should serve operational needs and not vice versa. And this is something very important. The second thing, we talked today a lot about things that are happening in Israel, but I have to say, the solution that we uh, developed is a tailored-made solution to the customer. And things that are happening in Israel are not necessarily relevant to what happened in France. The threats in Israel might be a bit different. The law in Israel is different. The capabilities are different. Here you have a different law. We need to address the solutions to the customers and to the customer roles and not trying to change the customer because it won't work. Um, last thing, one minute, 30 seconds. Last thing, 
The best advice that I can give you, and I have a slogan which I really believe in it, don't buy toys, buy solutions. I see a lot of customers, they buy a lot of toys. They buy drones, they buy balloons, they buy cameras, they buy... and then they stay with the toys. And they do nothing with this. And then the big chief of police entering his big, new c 4 room with the big video screen. And he asks himself one question, what am I going to do with it now? So don't be in this position. Thank you very much. Merci.